up. The run up wasn't quite right. Well, he's absolutely run next to him every step of the way. He hasn't let him get more than a half a yard ahead of him. Haile Gebri Selassie in the green vest of Ethiopia and Joseph Machuga of Kenya. And you're beginning to sense that this race is going to move quickly. Khaled Scar has done everything right. He hasn't moved anything. He's just balanced his act. He's gone through very, very slowly. And after all of that performance, to get to the halfway in 13.46, which is 27.30 pace for 10,000 meters. And when you think they were jogging for the first couple of laps, this race is really going to start to boil over now. Machuga on the outside, then Khaled Scar, and a good run by Stefan Franca, the, the only sea level athlete here. All the rest are altitude athletes. And it looks as though the, dis the future of distance running in the world is going to be dominated and dictated by altitude athletes. It seems as though that's the way to run in the low 27 minute times, a 65 second lap, and there's still not much happening. But I'm, I'm really pleased for Stefan Franke for European distance running. Right at the back of the group, though, the world cross country champion Paul Turgat. And when you think about the World Cross Country Championship, in the last 10 years, there have only been five different men who have won that race, because people like John and Googie have won it a couple of times. But the first one was Carlos Lopez, who became Olympic marathon champion. Then John and Googie, who became Olympic 5,000 meter champion. Then Carlos Scar, who's in there, who became Olympic 10,000 meter champion. William Sigay, who became world 10,000 meter champion. And we're looking at the, the other one, Can 